my last summer beer review before New York. So, I'm standing here on the balcony in my shorts, enjoying the view, I'm going to enjoy a beer, and I just realised this is probably the last beer review I'll do in Australia before I head off to New York City this week, so I thought I'd better make it a pretty good one. Today's beer review is a little bit like a wedding. We've got something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue. Well, not really, but I thought it sounded kind of cool. I'm drinking a beer from my old friends at Moondog Brewing. These guys have always pushed the boundaries within the local scene with such awesome beers such as Perverse Sexual Amalgam, Jumping the Shark and Ogden Nash's Pash Rash. Today I'm trying something new, it's a bit of a first for me, because today I am trying my first Brut IPA. Yep, I am serious, so I'm pretty excited to try this beer here, it's Brutus Beefcake's Tropical Vacation. If you're a child of the 80s like me, you would remember a wrestler by the name of Brutus the Barber Beefcake. Him and his old mate Greg the Hammer Valentine tore up the WWF in the 80s and he was this flamboyant wrestler with these big sort of shears that he would pretend to cut people's hair off and he was a real lover of fluorescent tights. So this label here is a beautiful little tribute to him. Brute IPAs are all the rage right now and I'm not going to try and claim to be an expert on them but the brewers add an enzyme to the beer which modify the unfermentable sugars to allow them to be fermented which in turn raises the alcohol in the beer but drops out the body a little bit and then also gives it a really nice dry finish. Science lesson over, that's gonna be about as technical as I get. This one here also has corn in it, which sort of further augments that process because corn is pretty much 100% fermentable. Check it out in the glass, really nice golden orange color with a beautiful soft white head. Oh yeah, beautiful tropical fruit aromas on this one, yeah. Oh, melon, citrus, kind of passion fruit. Yeah, it smells bloody sensational. Mmm, that's pretty bloody good. A lot to talk about with this one, really. You got a lot of mango and pineapple going on there. And whatever they've done, it really seems to hide that 9.5% alcohol content. Yeah, I reckon if you didn't know, this could be pretty dangerous. I better go again. Mmm, I love that dry finish. Crisp and bitter, and a really good introduction for me into brewed IPAs. Yeah, look, I'm really sorry, but it has been a little while since I enjoyed my last Moondog brew. So thanks to my old mate Gareth for reaching out to me and, and shooting me down some samples. I've really enjoyed them this week. Uh, they are a fantastic brewery, doing some really, really good beers. But that's the end of the beer review today. So until we talk again in this great big craft beer land of ours, hopefully I'll be able to bring some great stuff from New York City for you guys. But until then, cheers to great beers. <laughs>